All right, here we are with Frank Heasley from uh, Washington State, right? That's right. Where are you? Seattle area. It's the Seattle area. Marysville. Okay. And we we're right at about almost an hour today, and we had an hour and two thirds, two and two thirds, three and three thirds. You're almost right at four hours right now. Okay. Which and you've been flying gliders for a number of uh, about what three years or about so. About three years. Uh huh. And we've just done a whole bunch of landings with this uh, cadet senior. So let's see you do three in a row right here for your solo certificate. Okay, here we go. Okay. <laughs> And earlier today, well, just in a few minutes, last few minutes, you did three in a row with no help at all. And uh, the first day, I, I'd say you were fairly rough. Second day, much better. Third, this is our fourth day, you know. And everything is just looking great. Very nice. I see the horizon. Just looking good. I wish I could see better in this camera. Beautiful landing. And there, so there's one. Let's see if I can hold the camera on it better this time. Okay. That's fine. Go on around. Or Okay, good. So on this one, just leave it on the ground as it comes down and uh, you'll have done it. And in four hours, now again, considering you had other time uh, of flying, that helped, I'm sure. Because normally it takes closer to eight or 10 hours. So this one's a little higher, so you need to get down soon. Good, good, now you're doing good. And we're just going to let this one roll out. Very nice. Oh, that couldn't be better, Kalmos. You know, that, that little bit of bumpy ground there other than that. So, wait, congratulations. Yeah, you're taxiing back. Well, looks like it's a little rough down there. I'll go. So let me shake your hand and congratulate you. Thank Frank you. Heasley, solo pilot number 295 at Hobbies Aloft RC Flight School in just four hours. Great time. Now we'll have him just do a few more go arounds just so we have a little bit longer tape for the YouTube tape. But uh, now Frank has been flying gliders pretty much for the last three years and had been making mm, somewhat decent landings, I guess, but now we've really polished him up, and now he's making great landings all the time. And he actually is the very first person to solo using the electric Cadet Senior. I have now changed my whole fleet of airplanes over to be electric powered. And so let's have you uh, fly out a little bit more of this battery. Just, just so we'll have a little more time on the electric cadet senior. I'm using the Electrofly 80 size motor. All right, good. So when you solo, you know you do the three in a row. You get the handshakes, certificate, T-shirt, video, and. I like to see that it's no fluke also, you know, I mean, you're able yeah, to do this. I'm uh -huh. You're I'm able to do this. I'm just flying around. Okay. Just flying around now. And now the rest of your learning is in your hands because you know how to land. Too fast. So you feel a lot more comfortable with flying and especially landing now? Definitely. Great. Well, you're sure doing it. I've got about six airplanes at home that uh, 
are waiting to fly. Oh yeah, and you brought a, uh, that little uh, Sukhoi thing, and yeah, we can fly that uh, tomorrow or later today if you want. Okay. But you look very comfortable as a flyer now. <laughs> it's great to see. People come here to do this, and it's not easy. Okay, we'll do a touch and go. Okay. Kind of drop a wing a little, it but did. not so bad. It hurt anything though. No. But, so you're just there. I'm so proud of you again. Like all my students, you, once you click and you make it, once it it's, works. It works. Yeah, it's so much fun to see too because it's not easy. It takes a lot of dedication. It takes a lot of repetition, and that's what we do.